Okay, hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to show you how you can assign a drive letter in the command line tool disk part. And you might ask yourself, why the heck would I do that in the command line tool when I have the disk management tool where I can just right click on a partition or a drive and change drive letter and pass. And why should I do that here on the command line? Well, for example, if you are in the middle of the Windows setup and you want to have access to your operating system that's already on your hard disk, you can use disk part to assign a drive letter and then access your local hard disk from the Windows setup. Okay, you have started a Windows setup and you can press the Shift key and the F10 key to open a command line from the Windows setup. And here you can start disk part and with list disk, you can list the disks in your system. And in my case, I have one disk here. It's 128 gigabytes of size. And we can also list the volumes here by entering list wall. Okay, here I have my volumes. Um, on this disk is already Windows installed. And as you can see, the DVD-ROM has the drive letter D. However, the other volumes, the internal hard disk, the Windows installation has no drive letter assigned. And if you want to access, for example, our Windows partition, that's volume one here, you can see that by by the size is the biggest one. It contains Windows, your programs and your data. And we want to assign a drive letter to volume one in order to access it from our Windows installation here. Okay, in our case, we can select the volume, select volume and then the volume number. In our case, it's one. And then you can type in assign letter equals C, enter. And now the disk part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. And if I, if we do list wall, it should now show up our drive C here with our partition. And if we exit disk part here, we can now switch over to our C drive. And if we dear here, we can see our Windows installation and our program files. And that's how we can now access our local hard disk here from the Windows installation. And that's how you can assign drive letters with disk part.